Therefore, Dynamics Write Back. This is a functionality where you can write your DAX expression in Power BI and send it from Power BI directly to your semantic layer. Now, I see that you don't quite understand what this writeback functionality is. It's very useful. I will show you now. Let's have a look. The standard data warehouse transformation picks data from dynamics and external sources and puts it into tabular database. We have developed a new write-back functionality. We can write a DAX expression in Power BI and publish it back to Tabular database without compromising the data warehouse transformation. Let's see how this is done. This here is a Power BI report that is connected to Power BI dataset that's hosted in Power BI premium capacity. And the connection mode is direct query, which allows more flexibility when we are building, when we are using DAX. So what we are going to do is create a new measure. It's going to be max transaction. And this is the formula. You can put any measure that you want, any DAX transaction that you want, and just bring it into the visual here. Good. So what do we need to do to publish this measure from Power BI report into the BI server? We go to external tool, select BI for Dynamics right back application that is downloadable from our web page. And here it is. This is the measure that is recognized as a difference between the local Power BI based report and BI server database. So we are going to select sign in because only the registered users can publish the changes. We can work with measures, parameters, calculation groups, but here we have all objects and just send it to BI server. We can write a friendly name to our request so that we can later find one. And here it is, that's all. All we have to do now is to wait because there are other requests that we have delivered previously, you can see here. And among them, there is a date time of timestamp of the request and a friendly name that we can uh, find. We can see what who else has been doing something on this instance which means we can have all users or current user. But from publishing perspective, we have done, we just have to wait so that this request that is currently sent is completed. It would usually take about a few minutes depending on the frequency of the task scheduler that is running the server application. Of course, it will not refresh if server is not BI server is not up and running, if someone is working, or if server is processing. But all we have to do is just wait. Voila. We see that our request has been already completed, which means that we can now leave the application and refresh our local model. And now we should get duplicates because one measure is local and the same measure is coming now from the server. You can see we have duplicates, we know this, and there is a max transaction too. Now what we are going to do, delete one that was created in the local model and rename, it's very convenient, rename the new one and the report, the visuals are going to keep the layout. That's all. So you can see that we have done the changes in no time. And now if you think what we can do for heavy lifting, for tra complex transformations, where we are processing a lot of data, we are going to use data warehouse solution of BFO Dynamics. For minor changes that do not require specific data warehouse skills or modeling skills, you can just use Power BI. It's like driving a car and driving a bicycle. Everyone can drive a bicycle.